Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. So today we're going to talk about the naked bottomless porter filter versus a spouted porter filter. Do you need to upgrade to a naked bottomless? Are they a waste of money? Let's get into it. So let's start with the advantages of the spouted porter filter. And obviously these are included with your machine. There's no additional costs. Now, some machines do include a bottomless porter filter, but obviously they are much more expensive. So if we take the Sage Dual Boiler, this is included, no additional cost. So that's the first win, because we all know coffee's super expensive. Secondly, if you want to brew two cups, so you want two people, two espressos, this is the only one you can use. If you're using a naked porter filter, you get just one stream coming out the bottom. So this guy, you can use two cups. Also, because of the nature of this design and how it's spouted, you're not gonna get a massive channeling mess coming out of your puck, basically. So you're just gonna get a nice smooth flow regardless of how nasty it looks because that will all be inside of there. You are not gonna get that spraying and spurting everywhere and making a huge mess either. Now, if we take a look at the bottomless porter filter, the biggest pro for me of these guys is just how easy they are to clean. They're super simple to pop a basket out. You can clean the porter filter really easy. You can clean your basket really easy put it back together, you're away. Super good. Secondly, you know, everyone likes a bit of an Instagram shot, don't they? You know, everyone likes a nice video of the action with it twirling down the middle. So why not? That's another great reason to get one. Thirdly, if you want to use bigger baskets, so say you want 22, I think you can even get 25 gram baskets. These have a depth in them. So obviously the depth down, will be limited and I don't think you can probably get much more than a 20 gram basket in that. This, you can put whatever size you want in, it can come out the bottom if you want it to, it doesn't really matter. So you can put in whatever size gram basket you want. This one I've got here now, if you want to see what it looks like, that's a, a Pullman 17 to 19 gram basket. Uh, another great advantage of the bottomless porter filter is you just get more clearance. So when it's in, when it's locked into your group head, you have got more clearance, so if you've got a scale which is not super thin, I mean, this is obviously an Ikea Luna, it's probably one of the thinnest you can buy, but if not, and you've got something a little bit bulkier, this will just give you that little bit extra room, because if you put these side by side, if you look at the difference, look how much lower the spouted is, which is basically taking up cup clearance, effectively, um, and if you want to put a mug in or something, it can just be a little bit more awkward. So that's another great advantage of the bottomless. Also, if like me, you just leave your machine to, to heat up, the bottomless porter filter heats up much faster than the spouted because there's less mass there. Also with the bottomless, generally when you tend to stop your shop, so if you're trying to stop it, say bang on 36 grams, the bottomless porter filter just stops. You often find with the spouted, there's still some residual liquid in there and you may overshoot by a gram or two as well, which can be annoying. And if you're trying to dial in that variable and you want it bang on it, it can be a little bit frustrating and i understand that for some people so if we move on to the cons of the of the spouted obviously it takes a lot longer to heat up yeah you can flush the group through it you can pour boiling water over it whatever you want to do but even still the coffee's flowing through then it's got to flow through the spouts all of the while that is taking heat out of your coffee which is not what we want we want the water what we set the temperature at is what we want to come out or as near as close so the spouted porter filter is obviously going to take some heat away. Secondly, it's much harder to get a basket out. Let me show you. I'll put a blind basket in here. So put that in there. And then you, you, you've really got it. Some people use another basket to flick it out. I think I've got a bit of nail and I can... Yeah, there we go. Much harder to take the basket out. If you want to do that every time, you've then got to clean inside there. You've got to clean all the lugs. It's just a bit of a pain, really and something which we have enough to clean at the end of the day with all of the milk jugs, all of the other bits and pieces. It just becomes a bit of a pain and one of the main reasons, or the main reason, I wanted a bottomless porter filter. So if we talk about the negatives of the bottomless, obviously in my case, I've had to buy it. And this isn't even a cheap one either. This is the Pesado 58.5 modular one, so you can change it, so you can buy bits and pieces. Obviously this comes apart. You can change that to black. Uh, I've got the silver one because it matches the machine. You can then also maybe in future, if you change to a La Mazzocco or an E61, you can actually just change the top because that's Sage proprietary. But I guess that is getting a little bit off the track. This was about hundred pounds. 
The Sage one is about 70. It looks exactly the same as that. It's just plastic, but bottomless. Um, there's some on AliExpress, again, they're about 40, 50 pounds. I did buy one off Amazon, which was just shy of 40. Um, it was horrible. It was plastic wood. It got like a fake wood finish. It looked terrible. When you locked it in, it locked in at about four o'clock. It just kept going. I was like, nah. So they are an expense, obviously. And secondly, if you want to pull two cups, so the advantage of that is the disadvantage of that. You cannot pull, obviously, two cups at the same time. If you're wanting to share an espresso, you can't do that with a bottomless. But literally, apart from that, I think these are the winner. I think these are what most people use now. Um, you know, the, cut, the pros against the cons is plain to see versus the negatives of the spouted versus the, the pros. So I hope you guys find that video informative. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know down in the comments. Happy to have a chat. Uh, as ever, please like, please subscribe. Plenty more coffee content coming. Uh, I'm going to do a video because everyone seems to like my coffee scale video. So I'm going to do the Time More versus the Ikea. That's a video coming. So make sure you subscribe for that. Hope you guys have a great day. I'll catch you in the next one.